Welcome back. This is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. We're going to continue on the journey of hypothyroid or underfunctioning thyroid and infertility. And today we're going to talk about how thyroid hormone impacts male fertility. All right. So last week we talked about how it impacts females, but today we're going to talk about how it impacts males. So basically hypothyroid is increase in TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone, right? If you have high TSH, you can have hypothyroid. Basically what that means is you have a higher chance of having an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. When you have a positive TPO and TG antibody, you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Why is this important? Because the number one cause for hypothyroid here in the United States is Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune condition. When we have positive TPO and TG antibodies for men, the chances or the probability goes up for sperm antibodies and testicular antibodies, which can lead to infertility in men, right? So the autoimmune version of thyroid can also impact other tissues but the chances of autoimmunity developing other tissues goes up by more than 50%. Hypothyroid increase in TSH will also create a deficiency in thyroid hormones. And then the autoimmune version will create oxidative stress. These two things will start to impact how um, sperm quality is. So when we look at it, we have poor semen quality and quantity low sperm count, erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction can be due to uh, nitric oxide issues where circulation is poor. Now there's three forms of uh, nitric oxide. One is called N, E, and I, N, O, S. There's three different types, right? So we want to be able to increase neuronal and endothelial nitric oxide for erectile dysfunction. So uh, this can be a result of a nitric balance or nitric oxide deficiency, right? And then you can also have low libido, right? Just because you have low thyroid hormones. So it's very important for a patient who is trying to conceive to have both the female and male checked to see if they have issues with their thyroid. So it's very important when you look at infertility to look at one of the pieces, uh, uh, an important piece called Hashimoto's thyroiditis or hypothyroid. Okay. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.